The folks at banggood.com have sent me another product to demonstrate and test. This one's a six digit LED clock with a temperature display and uh, multiple alarms. This is a complete module. It'll operate from five to 35 volts. Nice little package here. Let's take a look at it. Coming right up. Take the top off first. So there's the top. As you can see, it has four large LEDs and two small dual digit LEDs and a couple dots in the middle. Have you guess what this is yet? If you guessed it's a clock, you're correct. It's a six digit clock. Now what exactly is the, let's take a look at the circuitry on the back of this thing now that I can uh, undo this. I think they can just undo these ones and it'll just come right off. Yeah, we'll just undo the four nuts here and lift the board off. What they've done is they've attached the back to it first, tighten them up tight and then set the board on. I was kind of hoping that this was going to be a kit, but um, they've sent me an assembled unit, but that's okay because this is a six digit clock with two extra digits. You guys figured out what that is for yet? This little sensor on the back might give you an idea. It's a temperature probe. So here it is. It's got a battery backup on here. It's all nice surface mounted components. It's got an alarm, up, down and set controls. We get a close up view of this thing. So it'll operate anywhere from I think it's 5 to 32 volts. So if you power it up with the external power lead which they give you, um, it'll can run on anything. Here we go, 5 to 30, five to 35 volts in. I didn't even look. I was looking at the box and there it is right there. So if you power it up with this external lead, 5 to 35 volts. You can also plug it in with a USB port over here and that of course is a 5 volt supply. It does have uh, an alarm on it and it does have a temperature sensor which I would imagine that if you wanted to make this an external temperature sensor it wouldn't be that big a deal to extend the wires and then say you could put this thing outside and it would give you the outside temperature. I don't think that would be an issue to do that. But let's uh, let's see how it works. I'm just going to put this thing back in its case here. I haven't powered this thing up yet. As you can see, I just got it. And this is just going to be a little quick review of this unit. And we'll see how nice this unit looks. And uh, either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I think we're probably heading towards a thumbs up. Because this looks to be a really nice made little unit. And the price is certainly very reasonable. Yeah, as you can see, the unit's now back together. As you notice on the top here, it does have a light sensor, so it will dim the display down when it's dark. And it comes with a couple of little feet that are molded right into the cabinet so that it'll stand up quite nicely on your table. I'm going to uh, hook it up to an external power supply. Let me grab my little power supply unit here. We'll just use the other one that Bang had sent me a while back to construct one that I've been using just to power up this timer. We don't need it hooked up to there. Again, this will operate anywhere from 5 to 35 volts. So we can set this thing anywhere. I'll leave it set for 12 volts. We'll plug in the power. connect the black to the red, right? That's the way it goes. The black to the red and red to the black. Something you'll notice right off the bat is this thing's got almost the correct time on it. Hmm, it's almost like I set that in advance, but actually I didn't. Uh, this hasn't been opened yet. So it's even set, it's even set for the right time zone. Huh, that was a coincidence because it's 3.05 right now and this is showing me 15.04 and 51 seconds. There's the temperature. Yes, it is 28 degrees Celsius in here. If I hang on to this temperature sensor on the back, we'll see that this is going to go up. Now that flicker you see is just an artifact of the camera. It is actually not flickering. 
We'll set the thing back down, the temperature will drop back down on this temperature probe here and show me the temperature in Celsius. I don't know whether it can be set in Fahrenheit as well. I haven't looked at the instructions yet, which look to be in Chinese, so... Yes, the instructions are totally in Chinese, so, um, hmm. Let's, uh, let's translate these instructions, shall we, to see how this thing actually is set. Well, this is kind of embarrassing. I went to straighten, straighten the paper like that, and it actually ripped right in two before I have a chance to translate it. So what I'll do is I'm just going to tape it down to the bench here, try to make it flat so that I can get a picture of this thing. We're going to use uh, Google Translate. I was trying to make it flat, right, so that the camera could get a good picture. And while well, it ripped, it probably ripped in a critical point too where I need to see something. But uh, I think we can probably make this thing work. Google Translate. It says tap to enter text. How about if I want to take a picture? There, I press the camera icon. Okay, it says to align the text. So, we'll, we'll do the first one here. It is telling me here what it says. Okay. Um, 1.2 inch electronic bell official with description of baby profile, custom dedicated. You can read the semi-transparent crystal, whatever. It's just giving you uh, the spiel of what it requires. So here's the Chinese letters that we scanned. Now we scroll down to the English portion. Hey, Google Translate is pretty cool. Uh, it says electronic clock instructions translucent. Okay, yeah, we see that part. Press this button to enter the time. S smell bin years of Hanley. <laughs> Press button and adjust the value of the tune and then set the spirit of the tune. Yeah. It's funny, the translation. And when it's dark, it'll dim the display. At least it should. Yep, it will. If we look at the display here, it's nice and bright now. If I cover up the sensor here, it'll go dim. You see? So to set it, looking at this instructions, it looks like we have some buttons on here that say set, up, down, and alarm. <laughs> I think we can probably figure this thing out without reading the instructions. Set gets into the minute setting mode. So you set your minutes. Press set again. Set your hours. It's 24 hour time. And then you set the day, which today is the 6th, which is correct. And it's 08, which is August. And then it's 2017, which is correct. And that looks to be how you set this thing. To do the alarm, you probably press the alarm button. Aha! There's alarm number one. Alarm two. If you press the alarm button, there's three alarms. So I'll set the alarm. If I want to set this thing for, I'll say set it for 15. Okay, after studying this translation a little bit more and trying to figure out what the heck they're talking about, uh, the buttons on the side here, Buttons on the side here, um, your up and down buttons and your set buttons and your alarm button actually sets other parameters too. So the set button obviously is used to set the time and the date. The up button, when you press that, will show you the date and it'll show you the temperature when you press it again, right? So press it once for the date. Press it a second time, it'll show you the temperature in decimal, so 28.6. Press it a third time and it goes back to the time. The bottom button, now what did I do? I've got it cycling all three of them now. Okay, press it one more time here, and that should put it back to, that's the up button I was pressing. Press the down button, it puts in other menus like AC, 0, DD, DF, LL, uh, AL, AL is obviously alarm. I don't know what BP does, but I figured out that the first one here, LL, I think it's LL, is the brightness. As you can see, this is for the bright setting, not the dim setting. So you can, you have nine different brightness levels in LL. 
AL would be turning the alarm on or off. BP looks like, if we look at this here, uh, da, 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 DF, okay. Um, the temperature, or DD1, DD2, it's temperature plus or minus, so you can calibrate. And DF is the switching interval, and display brightness is LL. And um, BP is the alarm bell. So BP is the alarm bell. So we'll turn that on. And we'll try setting this thing one more time. I'll try setting it at 1523. It takes a bit of playing around to get used to it, but we'll see whether it's going to uh, ring the bell now when it gets to 1523. Okay, it's playing a tune. <laughs> sure it is. But it's it's that's what it's doing. You can hear it. It rings for 30 seconds. So that's the alarm. Now I wonder if I go back into that setting and I change that uh, which one was it? It was L no, it was AL1. If I turn the BP to zero, what does it do? We'll just try setting this thing to 24 and see what happens and see if the tone is any different. The AL is still turned on, the BP is turned to zero. So it doesn't do anything. So BP must have to be turned on to that one has to be turned on for the alarm. I take it. And this one probably doesn't matter. I don't know what AL does. I'll have to look that up again. But anyway, if I set that alarm one more time to 25, we'll see what happens with that setting change now. As you can see, it, it beeps out a different, different tone. Press any button to silence it, it says. So that's the difference there. Uh, another thing here, the AC setting, this is to adjust your compensation for your temperature. So if your temperature is too high, like for example, if I set this to, if I set this to AC 5, it'll show it, it's 23 degrees. That was minus five, okay. And that'll say, and then I'll take it back up to zero. Twenty-eight degrees. Whoops. So that's to compensate if your temperature. So that should be thirty degrees. Now I'm taking it up by two. See, that's what that compensates for. So AC, you can add up to five degrees, or you can subtract up to five degrees. So if I minus two, it's now gonna say it's 26 in here. So it, you can measure the temperature and this will compensate. So that's the AC setting. DD setting. I haven't figured out what that one does yet. 
Let's just take a look and see if I can see what that does in the translation. So yeah, AC is uh, setting the, 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 the temperature. DD is the time date temperature cycle for the time period. So that's when you press the, the button here and put it into this mode where it cycles, right? It'll change the frequency that it cycles. That's DD. So if you want to have it cycling between the temperature and the time, which is kind of silly because the temperature is always displayed anyway. AC, what did I say AC did? That was the temperature conversation. DD2. Just changes the display so it's longer. No, DD2 switches between the date and time, you see? DD2 is date and time only. DD0 should just be the time. And the date. But it's the, t it's the frequency. That does it. So that's DD0, DD1, okay it's just time and temperature now, not date. So DD0 is time, date and temperature, DD1 is time and temperature, DD2 is time and date. That's when it's in auto cycle mode. So that's what the DD setting does. And that's of course is toggled with the, that we're, we're switching modes pressing the set down button. The set up button, normally if it's in time, if you press it once, it'll display the date. And you press it a second time, it'll display the temperature. If you play it a third time, it'll now go into the cycling mode depending on what you've set it to dis display, whether you've set it just to display the time and the date or the time and the temperature, or the time, date, and temperature. And then press it one more time and it goes back to time. So that's DD settings. The DF settings. What does DF do? Let's find out what DF does. Let's see if we can look that one up. And it says... DF is the switching interval, three seconds to switch one item. So if I set that to one, what will happen? If I go into that mode, now you can see how fast it is. So that's that was DF, right? If I switch it to five, for example, it's now going to be a five second switch between one and the other. So that's what the DF setting does. And LL, that was the brightness of the display as we already covered that one. AL is your alarm. If it's set to zero, it's just going to go beep, 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 beep. If it's set to one, it's going to do the, uh, the, 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 um, the buzzer is going to pulsate. And that's that. And we can go back to time here by pressing that button. And that is uh, that. If I go to alarm setting, 15, say 32. Probably missed it here. Here we go. I have a feeling that that's probably trying to play a tune, but the buzzer they've installed in this thing only pushes, only sends out uh, a beep. So that's the demonstration of the Banggood eight-digit digital clock, hours, minutes, seconds, and temperature. Hope you enjoyed this video. Nice little unit. We'll catch you in the next one real soon.